Hello, this is the Queen's Space Engineering Team's 2019 Systems Acceptance Review Submission. We are a team comprised of purely undergraduate students from almost every engineering discipline here at Queen's. This year we have worked hard to dial in our rover from last year while completely redesigning certain core rover systems. The rover chassis is a differential rocker system which allows the rover to easily maneuver over rocks and rough terrain. The rocker angle of attack is kept low, which keeps the center of mass low to avoid tipping. All rover control code has been completely rewritten and runs ROS, which allows for standardization of the code base and simplification of the integration process. The arm control code employs PID and inverse kinematics, which allows the arm to track an X and Y, which is much more intuitive to use relative to joint-by-joint -joint control. The communication system uses a 2.4 GHz antenna, which gives adequate teleoperation distance with range up to a kilometer. The base station employs a custom front end which displays driver controls, GPS position, sensor status, and rover diagnostics. Driver sites use multiplexed Pi cameras which allow for many camera feeds to be used at once. This helps with the driver's perspective as they interact with the competition field. The autonomous traversal algorithm uses a GPS and compass to drive the rover from one point to another. For obstacle avoidance, a LiDAR distance sensor measures 16 discrete distances spread over 45 degrees horizontally which adjusts the distance heading accordingly. For the machine vision portion of the autonomous task, we built upon last year's work. We optimized the color-based detection algorithm, incorporating more detailed and robust detection criteria for determining the contour of a tennis ball. These criteria are approximating polygonal curves as a measure of circularity, perimeter length of the contour, and maximum and minimum contour areas. This year, we have also adapted and implemented the open source YOLO V3 object detection algorithm. YOLO is a trained convolutional neural network that generates a bounding box around an object that it has been trained to recognize. It also produces a score that signifies the confidence with which the net has predicted which type of object has been identified and that the object is actually contained within the bounding box. By combining the color and neural network detection algorithms, we have a dual confidence detection system capable of completing the task at URC. The mechanical team undertook multiple design products for the 2019 year, including the complete redesign of the wrist and end effector, as well as a brand new microreactor subsystem. The new wrist employs the use of a differential mechanism to control both the pitch and roll of the end effector. This combines two degrees of freedom into one mechanism, which reduced overall weight as well as internal friction that hindered performance last year. Additionally, the differential affords smoother movement resulting in a higher precision and end effector repeatability of roughly 5 millimeters. The end effector underwent multiple design iterations resulting in the use of a parallel plate mechanism with customized grippers. The gripper geometry has been optimized to operate in as many possible scenarios at URC, including opening drawers and latches, picking up objects, turning knobs and fasteners, and pressing buttons. The microreactor features a semi-batch system to perform wet chemical soil analysis. Process design focused on weight reductions and preventing containment loss through solvent recovery filters and contactless fluid control components such as peristaltic pumps and pinch valves. Furthermore, the team employed finite element analysis and topology optimization techniques to reduce weight while maximizing the strength and performance of various subsystem components. Other projects included chassis modifications to improve robustness such as a sturdier antenna mount and wheel hubs, improving functionality with easily accessible battery compartments, and reduce weight through redesigned arm mount. Finally, the electronic storage box was redesigned to improve cooling and increase component density. The science team has divided light detection into two suites of tests, habitability and biomaterials. Habitability tests consist of in situ and environmental sensors, which will indicate what types of life we'd expect to see at the site. Cameras will be used for on-site geological interpretation. The team has designed a microreactor system for detection of biomaterials in soil. The microreactor was iteratively optimized, taking into consideration the electrical, mechanical, optical, and fluidic aspects to produce a compact, low mass, and completely sealed design. Soil will be diluted and mixed with a calorimeric indicator before entering a sample cell, where a UV vis spectrometer will be used to measure the concentration of analyte in solution. Tests for organic macromolecules will suggest extinct extent or no life. Combining the outcomes of habitability and biomaterial will allow the scientists on site to predict the extent of life at each site. Thank you for watching our video. We'd like to thank our sponsors Vista, Qya, Protocase, DigiKey, Thor Labs, SolidWorks, and Domino's Pizza. Thank you.